Today, we are about to embark on a journey through time and explore the mysteries of an abandoned mansion that has remained untouched for years. Built in the year 1981, this magnificent estate was once the pride of a family who held a dark secret. The family, originally from China, made their fortunes in the real estate industry, but little did the world know their opulent lifestyle was fueled by ill-gotten gains. Unaware to the authorities, the family utilized stolen funds from their business ventures to amass a collection of grand mansions for themselves. Yet, their deception couldn't go unnoticed forever. Around a decade ago, the law enforcement caught up with the family, and the government swiftly seized all of their properties, including this very home. Since then, it has stood abandoned, frozen in time, and waiting for curious souls to uncover its secrets. So join me today, and let's see what's left. What's up everyone, it's Big Banks. We're back again for another episode. And I'm here with Ethan Minnie, he's upstairs over here. And today we are in this 1980s abandoned mansion. Very cool, this place is stuck in time. As you can tell, look at this, beautiful staircase here. The rest of the house is just the same. A very clean house. Now this place was actually lived in by a Chinese family or some sort of foreign family. And the thing was is that they bought a bunch of houses like this with stolen money. And this house was actually seized by the government. And then later on it was auctioned off and bought by a developer. And now it just sits abandoned like this waiting to be demolished. So we're going to take you on a tour through it today. Let's get right into the history of this place and let's see what's left in this abandoned mansion. All right, everyone, so I'm gonna start you off right in the foyer. Again, like I said, very beautiful curved staircase right here. Nice woodwork on it, very sturdy. For this place not being updated since it was built, it has very good bones. And you could easily, easily renovate this place and make it incredible. In areas like this, they're just gonna tear it down and build something bigger and more modern. It's on a beautiful piece of land too, in this uh, pretty quiet neighborhood for the most part. Got the nice tile flooring. Check out this wallpaper too. It's like, actually this is hand painted. I can feel the paint. So it looks like they painted the floral all around this. We do have a little chandelier here and a lot of natural light coming in. So it's very cool, very nice features. I believe this house is right around 6,000 square feet. So, you know, it's on the borderline of being a mansion in a large house, but quite cool. And the story behind this is pretty crazy, as you could tell. I don't think there's much left in here, but we're definitely gonna see the architecture of this place because it is so frozen in time with it not being updated since 1981 when it was built. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited to show you guys this one. One thing I really like about staircases like this is it has this little landing area right here. Now for me, I would put like, a statue, a lot of people put plants there. Um, but yeah, I would put like statues, knickknacks, whatever right there. Makes it look really cool. You can see these lights. Now these kind of lights, uh, the name I give these is just ceiling titties. <laughs> <laughs> but this house is kind of all open. So we're gonna go right to the right of the foyer through these uh, nice, very, very nice French doors here. And we're gonna see what looks to be maybe one of the main living spaces or maybe even the dining room of the place because the kitchen is just right over there. But I would say this is more of like a dining room of some sort. And as you can see right over there, we have this little seating area. The wood flooring throughout is really, really nice as well. The woodwork in this whole house is just amazing. And it, it really is, you can really tell it's 80s by how much wood is in here and all the brown colors. And then you can see more French doors going to that side. But I love these big windows, letting all this natural light come in. And I wanna say this is where your living space would be, but I could definitely be wrong here because there's this fireplace here. And by the way, really nice fireplace to say the least. All original, Cobra, 
Looks like it's only been used a couple of times. Nice woodwork on here again. And I wonder what kind of wood this is. I wish I could tell just by looking at it, but I really can't. And then you have the brickwork along this. This uh, weird yellow color, yellowish, orangish color tile throughout this room. And I wanna say this is probably where they had like your breakfast nook and all that stuff. Which then leads to this back area, which no pool back here, which is strange. But then they also have a, a big, <laughs> blow up goose <laughs> doesn't make any sense but we'll roll with it <laughs> but yeah there's no pool back there but a nice nice piece of land in the back if it, if it was landscaped or anything like that it would look really beautiful even have some nice uh i can't i don't remember the the name of those flowers up there but uh it's all pink and purplish right now they're blooming it's really really beautiful out here as well as the pine trees and all that stuff but this room this area at least it's really wide open so if I were to guess, you'd have a breakfast nook right here. And if this was a living space, you know, your couch and everything would be right here, TV there. But being it was the 1980s, probably not. That was probably more of the living space since this hasn't been lived in in a very long time. But it's crazy to see how in shape everything is, being that it hasn't been lived in in so long. Got the wood beams above, with the popcorn ceiling. And then from this, we go straight into the kitchen. Check out the wallpaper in here. A little bit of floral action going on there. And it actually matches the curtains right here as well. Cool to see curtains still hanging up in here. But come to the kitchen and look at this. The top, the countertops is actually the exact same as the flooring, which honestly to me is a little bit weird but to each their own, obviously. Not my style, but you know, you do what you gotta do. And, but what's so weird is that the appliances in here look newer, obviously newer than the 80s. I mean, this is a Whirlpool, you know, nice fridge. Nothing's gonna be left inside of it. Still stinks though. You got the oven here. There's no power running in this house either because they are planning on tearing it down. You can see, look, back here. That is definitely an older style right there. Used to have a house where you had to use those for your, your breaker box, stuff like that for your fuses. The kitchen's very nice, so a lot of cabinet space throughout. And the cabinets are still in very good shape. I mean, this is move-in ready. If you wanted to live in something that was outdated like this, it's definitely moving ready. Lots of cabinet space. Even right here, look. This is for your, your wine. So you have a little wine rack going on in here. Not too bad. And check out the old stove right here. So this middle part, oh, it's like a grill of some sort. Am I right on that, guys? Is this, is this like a grill? I'm not 100% sure on that. <laughs> Still pretty cool to say the least. And it just opens wide up to this. So it's really sad to see like it's such a good place just being left that you know it's just gonna be torn down. Now, coming out of the kitchen, we find ourselves in a hallway and then a little room to my left here. Again, very nice hardwood floors. And in this one, we have some like pink accents throughout this. And the lighting in here is just like dim lighting. So you can either have it really bright or you can have a low lighting, you know, love things like that. But I assume that this house is gonna be one of those where some rooms have like pink and blue because, you know, that's just how it was back in the 80s and stuff like that. But again, in this house, in this room, you have another little seating area right there, just like the other side. Other than that, not much to this room besides the really nice hardwood floors. So let's continue to come down the hallway here. Check out the wallpapers. What kind of design is this, guys? Do you guys know exactly? You have a whole intercom system. 
in this house. Your speaker, I guess you could play this throughout the whole house. You even have a radio here, AM, FM, that's awesome. But then we come over here and look at this, we have a couple of shoes left, some slippers, and even some, some more slides. But it looks like we're coming into a master, or no, we're coming down to a, I don't know, this little strange area of the house. Oh, okay, here's a washer and dryer room, and here's like a little bathroom. So this bathroom, as you can see, this is written in Chinese. This bathroom is like a greenish, like a mint green color. The toilet matches the walls and the sink. Now, I gotta know what this says. We're gonna pull it up on Google Translate. The toilet is broken with a knife. Okay, <laughs> that's what it says. So the toilet is broken with a knife. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we have a little bitty storage closet right here, maybe for hanging your coats and whatnot. It looks like maybe this goes to maybe the garage, which this place does have a three. This place has a three car garage. Yeah, this is where this goes. So pretty big open space. I mean, not much to show in here, but just wanted to just let you guys know that this is a quite a big garage. I mean, three cars, you know, it's a big house. And then right over here is your washer and dryer room. Now check out this sink. This is actually made of granite. This whole sink right here, this is all granite, which is weird. I thought it was just like, looking at it from a distance, it didn't look like that, but that's what it is. It's a granite sink. This is really cool. I got some shorts left in here. Looks like swim trunks, piece of granite left in there. Not really much going on in here. Now this washer is actually really nice. So it makes me think that somebody did live in here for a little bit afterwards, but just never updated the place. Which if it's an older couple, you know, I can see that. And the dryer is definitely a bit older. Kenmore heavy duty. Yeah, I wonder if they left anything else. <laughs> Look at this. This old sweep and groom vacuum cleaner. I haven't seen one of those in a while in one of these places. You can see the kind of closets they had here, they these little sliding closets right here, which is still pretty common today in places, but I see a lot of people uh, get rid of these and upgrade to something different. But guys, that is the downstairs. Now it's time to go see what is left upstairs and check out the master bedroom and everything else that's left up there. Pretty excited to see what color these rooms are, being that this is like an 80s house and all that stuff. Let's make our way up there and let's see what's left. All right guys, now we made it upstairs and you're gonna see straight away the different colors right here. I mean, look at this. We got blue to the left green to the right. So let's go into the blue room first. Has the shag carpet. Nothing much going on with like stuff left behind, but it's definitely stuck in time. Right here, here's part of the intercom system. I can tell you right now, if I had a home and a family with an intercom system in the house, that's how I'd be waking everybody up every single day. <laughs> I'd be that annoying dad. Oh, check that out. The shag goes all the way in here too. We even have like a little door back here. We gotta see what that goes to. What the heck? There's more carpet in there. I guess we gotta go check it out. Let's try to crawl back here a little bit. Spider webs everywhere. This is literally just like a little secret hideout room. What the heck? That's so weird. There's like carpet back here. I mean, you could only fit like two people back here sitting down, maybe. It's just really strange. Close that back up. It's weird, a little secret room in the closet. 
again has these like sliding doors with the wood like i said before a lot of people get that changed out in these days but this house has not been touched since the 1980s besides appliances but this room is absolutely so blue <laughs> this room is very blue but it's a very comforting color so i mean if you're in here and you're feeling depressed i mean this is going to help you out a lot so let's go right across the hallway into the next room and this is where we have the yellow shag carpet oh my gosh this is so retro this is amazing <laughs> and in here they left like a, a whiteboard and this little like board right here which has all these pins still in it nice windows through here and check it out left these little curtains right here such a retro place i love it Let's see what's in this closet i wonder if there's a secret one in this closet too it's weird it's like filing cabinet stuff it's not a secret door in this closet but this is this metal is like really strange to have in, in the closet for your like your shoe rack. I understand, but it's just kind of like strange. I haven't seen that before. As far as walls go, this room is like a, it's a green color, but I can't tell what kind of green. It, uh, it almost, in some angles it looks like it's white, but in other angles it's like a greenish color. this we see right here more of this wallpaper of the same downstairs now by the looks of it this is probably gonna go down to the master so you come through this little hallway here go down a couple of steps and it looks like we have some sort of closet space here some I think this is for like shoes or whatnot maybe hats or ties so that's one little closet space in this hallway and then we have another one right next to it so this could be like a his and hers type thing but before I take you in there, which I believe is the master bedroom, there's a room right here to my right, which is very small. And by the looks of all these things hanging up here, this could have been a closet of some sort, like an extra closet for them, I want to say, judging just by all these things right here. And there's like a poster left in here. Of a nice beach, probably in Hawaii somewhere with palm trees somebody tell me where is this place exactly at <laughs> so i'm just going to take a guess and say this is like an extra closet like a room that they made into a closet which would make sense if this being the whole master area right here i mean these are obviously closets here and you come through here and this is probably the master part of this but you do have closet space right here as well it's just not as big and that's why i think that they made that into the closet it's nice sliding with mirrors on it. And I do believe I was correct. This is the master bedroom. I mean, check it out. It's pretty large. And this is where your bed would have been right here. You would have put it up against this. So you had this nice backdrop, even having some lights right here, some accent lighting, which looks a bit newer. So maybe that was added on later. And this is like a textured wallpaper. Not really sure what kind of texture that is. It looks pretty cool to say the least. And all of this natural lighting coming in through all these beautiful windows and everything is so clean still. I mean, just get a look at the outside. It looks so nice out there. And then I can imagine a dresser went there and all of your clothing and stuff, your underwear, your socks, would have went in these drawers, which is actually cedar inside, which is pretty neat. It keeps away moths, stuff like that. It's a very clean house. It's kind of like pinkish in here, but it is a wallpaper. It has like three little dots, if you can see that. And right here, there's another little entertainment area, which I don't think if they had a TV, they were putting it right here, but maybe being that old, maybe they just had a box TV that went right there. But I can imagine if this was my bedroom, t like bed would go here, 
big flat screen would go here. <laughs> And then you come around to this side though, and I'm assuming this might go to a bathroom. Yep, I was right. And you can definitely tell it's older. You got carpet in the bathroom, which is just not practical these days. But check out the wallpaper in here. It has this like silver lining on it, which is really neat. So when you shine a light on it, it kind of like, kind of like glistens a little bit. Pretty clean bathroom to say the least. It's small for a master. And there's no toilet. I don't see one at least. Oh yeah, there it is. So the toilet's back here behind the door. Check that out. Look at this nice little lighting it has. Right here, this little brass lighting. Pretty cool place. Still some toilet paper left. This is the shower and the bathtub. Nice. But I see this. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's like a built-in vanity. So you lift this up and it has a mirror on it and then all your makeup and stuff would go in here and you could do your, your, your makeup and whatnot right there. That's actually really neat. I've never seen one that was like built in like that where you could like put it down and it'd be just counter space then. That's actually really cool. I love the wallpaper in here though. I'm, a, I'm like a big fan of like weird wallpaper and this definitely does it for me. Even the ceiling has this like crazy wallpaper on it. All right, it's time to make our way to the other side of this mansion. We just checked out the master. Now we're gonna see what's on the other side. And by the looks of it, I saw a secret door in one of the bathrooms. It looks pretty cool. Let's see what's left. So this little storage closet right here. We come to our first bathroom here. And again, you have this like dim lighting option right here. And oh my gosh, look at this toilet. <laughs> what the heck? This toilet is sick. I imagine this is made out of like some sort of resin of some sort because there's actual seashells in there. And then a dolphin, like what the heck? I've never seen that. That's pretty cool. That's something you put in like an Airbnb or something on the beach. Maybe they were big fans of the beach. Nice countertops, not granite, but made to look like that with a nice little teal blue, baby blue sink right here and a tub to match that. Then very nice tiling in here. Look at that flower, it's beautiful. Come out and we get another look at this nice staircase here. Come back here and here we have another bedroom. So it's very neat, very nice hardwood floor. This is the second biggest bedroom of the house. One little closet space right here. And the color of this room is more of like a beige color with the brown, brown wood. Nice, again, very nice uh, lighting coming in through here. And then this actually does have a walk-in closet that looks like it was uh, all the railings and stuff were removed at some point in time. Decently sized closet there. And a very decently sized room. Looks like we have some more writing in Chinese. Let's see what it says, guys. The empty room smells that the lights are broken. Men now nah, can't use it. So the room smells of some sort, I guess. Now we're gonna enter the bathroom. And this is one of the parts I wanted to like save for last because this is the final room of the house. Is I wanted to save this because you can see this little secret door right here. <laughs> and it goes to a room that I want to show you. Now, check this out though. They have the pink accents in here, so maybe this was a girl's room of some sort. This is a bigger, uh, this is a bigger bathroom than even the master. So it kind of, it's kind of weird how this is laid out like this. You have another built-in vanity here, which is actually really nice. I like these little bulbs that are in here. The drawers and stuff, it's very nice. Still, everything is very good shape in this house. Nothing's really left though. Nice mirror, this mirror actually looks a bit newer, but who knows? I mean, this place hasn't been lived in in quite a while. And look at this. This is actually, I believe this is a, it's for heating, I wanna say. Am I right on that, guys? Is this for heating or am I wrong? Let me know down in the comments. And then this entire wall right here is a mirror. <laughs> so you have your whole get ready with me 
type mirror right here. <laughs> Little thing above the toilet here. But I don't want guys. I don't want to keep you guys waiting any longer. We're gonna go inside the secret room. So look, it's literally an actual door. Check that out. Spider webs everywhere. So it's actually not that big, but it's big enough. You could, you could have this room for something. And it, there's even like a light bulb in here. But it's crazy. I have like only found a secret room like maybe one or two times and did not expect it in this house. But being that this house is tied with like fraudulent stuff and illegal stuff that this definitely makes sense for them to have this in here. It's just really strange. That's our secret room right there. It's just so weird because it just blends in to this wall. That's insane. this house guys so guys that's gonna be the end of today's video this place was absolutely amazing being that there's nothing left still we still got to see a lot of really cool stuff in here I mean including a freaking secret room like come on how often do you see that that's so crazy we're gonna move on to the next abandoned mansion and we're only hitting mansions while we're here that's all we're gonna be doing so I hope you guys are ready for a great great series right now let's get out of this place let's go on to the next Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like down below. Check out Ethan Minnie down in the description. And until next time, Big Banks out.